let's take a look at the haze removal filter offered in Affinity Photo. I'll show you not just how to remove haze from your images, but how to add more atmospheric haze back in by using some blending techniques as well. First of all, this is a filter, so we want to run it on a pixel layer. On my layers panel, I'll make sure I select the background pixel layer, which is my image content. Then I'll go to filters, haze removal. There will be a brief moment where the image channel data is being analyzed. Then the initial dehazed result will be displayed. Using the distance slider allows us to control the depth of the haze removal. So as I move the slider to the left, the haze is gradually reintroduced. I can then move the slider to the right again, which will gradually remove more of the haze. The strength controls the aggressiveness of the haze removal. Using an extreme value may create an unnatural result depending on the image. So for this example, I'll settle for somewhere around three quarters along the length of the slider. Exposure correction can be used if the haze removal darkens the image significantly or causes overexposure in bright areas. Overexposure can be corrected by dragging the slider to the left and darkening can be corrected by dragging to the right. Using the split view option is very useful in particular for haze removal, as you can simply click drag on the preview bar to move between the before and the after. I'll switch back to a single view, then click apply to commit the haze removal effect. On this second example, I'll show you a technique that uses the haze removal result to add controllable haze into an image. First, I'll duplicate the image data layer by using Command J on Mac, Control J on Windows. Then I'll run the haze removal filter. Now I want to create a strong difference between the original image and the haze removal result. So I'll move the strength slider all the way to the right, then click apply. Now I'll set this layer's blend mode to difference. And I'll then go to Layer, Merge Visible. This creates a new pixel layer containing the result of this difference blend mode. I can now delete that haze removal layer by selecting it and using Delete on the keyboard. I'll select the newly created pixel layer and change its blend mode to Screen. Now I have a haze effect over the sea and the areas of the image that are further back in terms of the camera's perspective. I can easily control the strength of the haze by modifying the layer opacity. Or if I wanted more control, I could add a levels adjustment using Command L on Mac, Control L on Windows. And I could clip it into the pixel layer by click dragging it and releasing the mouse button over the text of the pixel layer. I can expand that pixel layer to confirm the levels adjustment is now clipped into it. Modifying the gamma slider to the left lets me bring the haze effect closer to the camera. And I can also raise the output black level to further increase this effect. The output white level can be used to control the thickness or density of the haze effect. Now I can close the levels adjustment and evaluate the haze I've added to the image. Like I demonstrated before, I can modify the opacity of the pixel layer to control the overall strength of the haze effect until I'm happy with the result. Then I can hide the layer to reveal the initial image, then show it again to see the result. And that's how to use the haze removal filter, both to remove haze and add it to your images. Thank you for watching.